Hello everyone. We're here in the front foyer of Dunbar to share more information with you on how to prepare for in-person learning. But first I want to review the focus from the previous announcement. The expectations for remote learning. Students will need to continue to log into Canvas during the scheduled class time and be prepared to Zoom with classes on occasion. And attendance will be determined by the formative and summative work to be complete. The expectations for in-person learning. You must wear a mask and wear the mask the correct way, covering the nose and the mouth. Wear your ID. The ID should be worn around the neck on the lanyard. Bring a charged Chromebook. You will be working from Canvas. If you don't have a Chromebook, you need to register as soon as possible. The link is on our website. And read the return plan document on our website. Today, we will continue to share with you what you need to know to prepare for in-person learning. Hello, I'm Associate Principal Andrea Tinsley. When you arrive on campus as a car rider, your parent will drop you off in the front of the building where you will enter through these doors. This is the main entrance and it is labeled as Zone 4 in the return plans document. If you are a bus rider, you will enter at the far end of the building from the bus loading zone, which is labeled Zone 1 in the return plans. Bus riders will be directed to enter through one of three locations, Zone 1, 2, or 3. An adult will be in the area to direct you when you exit the bus. If you're a student driver, you may enter any of these entrances depending on your time of arrival. An adult will also be ready to direct you depending on the number of students in each line. Once you enter the building, you will be directed to go through the metal detectors. Hello, I'm Associate Principal Mr. Blackman. To prepare for the metal detectors, you should place all your belongings in your backpack. Your Chromebook, phone, and all other belongings right here in the backpack. Your backpack should be unzipped and placed on the table to make it easier for the safety ambassadors. You should also have your lanyard, your ID, on your lanyard and around your neck. Once you are cleared through the metal detectors, you will walk through a thermal imaging camera where we will check your temperature and it will be monitored. If your temperature registers high, you will be pulled aside and we will check it again. Hello, I'm the ninth grade principal, Mrs. Hill. After you clear the temperature check station, you may go to the cafeteria for a grab and go breakfast. The cafeteria is located at the bottom of this ramp. If you choose to eat breakfast, you will be given a number at the checkout line, and that number is your assigned seat in the cafeteria where you must sit while you eat. Immediately after you eat, you will proceed to your first block class. If you are not planning to eat breakfast, students are expected to go directly to first block. When in transition in the halls, the expectation is that everyone will stay to the right, practice social distancing, and keep moving. No gathering will be permitted. Hello, I'm Mrs. Pelfrey, Administrative Dean. All teachers will have assigned seating for students in all classes. Students will also have assigned seating in the cafeteria. The expectation is that the students will sit in their assigned seat for the remainder of the school year. This is necessary for contact tracing purposes. Restrooms are limited to two people at a time. Students may use the restrooms as needed, but if the restroom is at capacity, the student should wait in the hall until space becomes available. Hall passes will be limited to emergency use only, so make sure you have your supplies and belongings with you at all times. Hello, I'm Mrs. Merritt, Administrative Dean here at Dunbar. Whether you are attending class here at Dunbar or virtually, once we return to in-person learning, all classes will continue to use Canvas as the major platform for classwork and assignments. In-person students should continue to bring their charged Chromebooks every day. If you don't have a Chromebook, you can request one using a link on the PLD homepage. If your Chromebook is not working, call the Technology Help Desk, which is also listed on the PLD homepage. Some teachers will continue to hold live Zoom lessons at the regular class time to deliver instruction to in-person and remote students together. Others will record lessons to post on their Canvas site for remote learners. Either way, remote learning students should continue to follow the school's daily routine as much as possible. 
Remote learners should also continue to use email to reach out to their teachers if they have questions or need assistance with a class. I want to remind all freshmen that we will have a freshman walkthrough the Friday before we return on Monday. The walkthrough will be from 4 o'clock to 6 o'clock p.m. and this will be the time to find your classes and learn your way around the building. Thank you for your time and attention and if you have any questions, please reach out to a teacher, a counselor, or a principal. We will be back soon with more information. Take care. See you soon. Looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Don't worry, freshmen, we got you. See you soon. Stay safe, Dunbar. We'll see you soon.